Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we're going to take a look at Rasheen Ali, as you've seen from the thumbnail. And did he have a good game? Did he have a bad game? Well, that's what we're going to take a look at the film and see. He was drafted out of Marshall. He right now has a leg up on being the third running back behind Derrick Henry and Justice Hill. Now, what happens when Keaton Mitchell comes back? And he's obviously in a contest with Owen Wright as well. His first preseason action, he actually put the ball on the ground. They called him down. But again, putting the ball on the ground gets you sent to the shadow realm and John Harbaugh's system. So I don't know if that helped him or hurt him, but he did get back in the game once that happened. And let's take a look at what he did with the reps he got in his first preseason action uh, last Friday afternoon. Roll the intro. All right, welcome back. Let's get started with this Rasheen Ali film. But before we do that, smash that like button, smash that like button. And if you've not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Smash that bell so you'll be notified when the rest of these videos drop throughout the rest of the preseason and the 2024 season. Let's get right into it. Rasheen Ali, potential third back, potential scout team guy, potential cut guy. We'll see. Let's take a look at some of his reps. They run a little outside zone play. He hits him with a little hezzy step. And as we know, the end zone view will give us what we need on here. Run a little outside zone left. Okay, and I kind of see why he hesitated. Because he, he got that guy shooting that gap. And we don't know if the center is going to come off, which is uh, is that Dallin Court? And take it. So I see why he has it right there. But there's his, there's his gap. Once once the center disengaged and got that, you got to shoot that right there, my boy. You got to shoot it. Shoot that gap and see what happens. There it is. Come on, Jones. Stay on your block. Come on, Jones. Stay on your block. Jones, you got to stay engaged. I see, the, I see the hesitation. I understand why. Let it set up. Come on, Jones. Finish it. That's good by Voorhees. Not a bad rep. Not a bad rep. Jones got to do better, though. Jones got to be better on that rep. Not bad, Ali. We're going to focus on Ali, though. First and 10, third quarter, 11 15 left. Flip sides with him. He on the hip of uh, oh, Devin Leary. I think this inside zone might be duo. Could be inside zone, could be duo. We'll see it once we get to the backside. They shift, we shift. <laughs> we get better leverage. Think it's duo. Come right down here, right at, right at your gate. So right here, I would say come right down a gap. Falele better disengage and go get Jeremiah Trotter. That's what better happen. Falele better disengage and go get... That's what happens. There's your gap. Come on, Roger. Stay engaged. Come on, Roger. Stay engaged. Hmm. Right here, we good. It just collapse on him. Let's see what you can get. I see. Not a bad rep for Ali. Oh, line could have been a little better. Focus on Ali, though. Not a bad rep. Because where he's supposed to hit it, it's right there off, off Far Lele's hip. But as big as Far Lele is, I need him to move that line back up out of there. I don't need that to be a stalemate. And I need Dallincourt to keep that guy where he is. See, he let him cross his face. That's what. That's why. That's why that gap closes so quick on Rasheen Ali. The center lets the the defender cross his face. But still, he gets about five yards on this. So, you know, you can't be mad at him for getting what he gets on duo. Let's take this next play. A little motion by Dayton Wade. Oh. So we we taking a little play out of the Rams playbook. 
I think I saw this play was ran by somebody on the more sip the chat more sip the tally channel I, I did last week uh not last week earlier this week who did I do a video on break the Jets but they still pulling this out of the rounds playbook I did a video about Braylon Allen on the Jets uh of the Jets on the more sip the tally channel and they ran this same play Had to receive a fold and also had to tackle pulling. Let's see how well we did it. NFL's a copycat. Football's a copycat league. Not just the NFL. Football is. Football's a copycat league. Not just the NFL. Dayton Wade come in motion. We didn't run as well as they did. <laughs> didn't, don't look the same. It don't look executed the same. Dayton Wade should be coming to pick up the first backer he sees. Rosen going to pulling. I mean, not Rosen going to void. He's pulling. The thing is with it, and I know we're here for Rasheen Ali, but we're going to talk O-line a little bit too. Rosen going to should have a down block on this guy right here. But what happens is he let him cross his face, and that kind of mucks the whole thing up because Voorhe should be pulling through this gap. Wade is folding through this gap he's kicking out for that dude right there that's what it should look like but rosen going to down blocks on 97 97 crosses his face and gets in the gap and that destroys the entire play let's watch it and again i know we hit for rasheen ali but football is football we got to understand why rasheen ali didn't look as good as we or at least i hoped he would be see look, look at the down block by rosen Gardner. Now watch the guy cross his face. Now get right where Voorhees should be. So now they, they have a numbers advantage because he crossed his face. And I mean, this guy coming from the backside don't, don't help either. The tight end kind of loses. Look, at, look what happens to the tight end. Number 83. Who is number 83? I got my paper right here. Oh, 83 is Ishmael. Come on, Ishmael. You got, you got to be better than that. And I know you just he just started being a tight end. He went from quarterback to receiver to tight end. You got to be better than that in the run game, Ishmael. And again, and I thought 26 played bad, but you got to see all the factors that why he played bad. You got to see all the factors. And this, this right here ain't much he can do. Ain't much, ain't much 26 can do with this. Once you look at the totality of it, ain't much he can do with it. Let's go to the next one. First and 10, 13, 40 in the fourth quarter. And they look like trying to run that ISO. Is that ISO? I ain't seen that before. At least I hadn't seen it in a while. It look like ISO. I think. Put the full back in the backfield. Put him in, in like a lead eye situation. Mike, Mike Riggerman. Yeah, that is definitely ISO. <laughs> Let me tell you how I know it's ISO. You got your out, out, down, down. And we I opening up right to the backer. And coming downhill, that is ISO. Old school ISO. Old school ISO. Hmm. But what happens is, now see, I see you six to one. Is that, is that say, Matt? Good job. But you got to have your head up 35. Hit that thing off there. We hit that back there. We off to the races. But let's see what result we get. Rasheen see it. Fullback just don't see it. If the fullback leave, leave Rasheen in, in that hole that he hits, he gets a lot more than those little three yards. When you see that guy disengage, jump cut that thing just like you got the ball, 35. And then you, because Rasheen see it. So there's a plus for Rasheen. The fullback just don't see it. 
Saymac did a great job of, of double teaming and coming off. And think what I like about this double team is you can stay on this double, but when the linebacker triggers, that's when you trigger. And he stayed on that double. And that linebacker trigger, he cleaned his clock. Watch how he watch how this dude right here disappear. Just watch. When I hit when I play it in live live speed, watch how he just disappeared. Whoop. Disappeared. Now look at that gap. If 35 hit that gap, then Rasheen hit that gap, he off and running. Because 35 would probably block this guy right here. So again, I mean, even it ain't always the back's fault. It ain't always the back's fault. Feel like we got a little more duo, I think. I think this duo. So I guess we can consider this O line and and machine Ali film, I guess. That ain't, that ain't bad by the O-line. Not bad at all. These the backup guys. Save Mac and Tyshawn, man, that ain't bad. That ain't bad. See the hand by um, 67 to make sure Salah got that guy, then go up to second level. That's a great rep by the backups right there for the O-line. It's a great rep. And watch them. Watch them. The best way you can double team to a linebacker is to take the defensive tackle to him. Never disengage, just take him to him. That's the best way to do it. And watch him just work in unison and move that guy back there. It's a great job. That's a freaking textbook right there. Textbook. Let's see what Rasheen do, who really is the focus of the video. I probably didn't change the focus of the video, but it is what it is. Just follow it. Be patient and follow it. Now, the tackle loses at the end, but still. Just be patient. That's, Rasheen basically gets... Let's see where the ball is snapped at. He's at the line of scrimmage now. He got about three or four yards before he even touched. So that's a great job by the O-line. Can't really critique Rasheen on that because the, the O-line got great push. Great push. Third and one. Whoop. Great decision. Great decision. Great decision to kind of set him up and slow play it because he know, he know it's third and one and then stick that foot in the ground. What made him bounce it, though? I don't like the decision to bounce it. That, that, that's blocked pretty decent right there. Saw I got that guy. 67 came off on there. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, it ain't the third and one? Third and one, yeah. Bad decision. Bad decision. That's that's enough to get you a yard. Say back pancake somebody else. Say back whooping people, man. Look look right here. Say back whooping people. Rasheem, man, come on, bro. You that's enough to get a yard. It's third and one. Know the situation. That, like you you see this on tape, it's like, bro. You got to get this yard. You take this chance of bouncing away out here. Look, it's three eagles out here. One, two, three. You just got lucky. You got lucky, bro. Whoop. Got lucky right there. And I said great decision at first, but when you when you break it all down, no, it's not a great decision. Initially. You could have hit that thing right out the middle and got that first down. Easy. O-line did a great job. They're providing you with enough room to get a yard. What's this situation? Second and eight. 10 no three left. Basically 10 minutes left in the fourth quarter. Mmm. Yikes. Yikes. Gotta catch the ball, man. Ball hit you between the two and the six. Ball hit you between the two and the six. You gotta catch that. <laughs> you gotta you gotta catch that, buddy. 
gotta catch that. No excuses. Now it's nothing even to talk about. <laughs> wow, did I is that is did I put the same play in there? <laughs> Let's see, I, I might have did. No, I didn't. Okay. Oh, this pass pro. What? Bro, what, what? We 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 talk about Justice Hill and his pass pro last year, and you come in and you got perfect. You squared him up. You up in the gap. You in the line. You fit in the line with the lineman. Then you do this. Come on, son. Come on, son. That stinks. That's terrible. Atrocious. That's all the synonyms I got for you on that one. <laughs> That's all I got. This is terrible, as Barkley say. It's just bad. And now what I do know he did during the game that stood out to me. Follow the freaking blockers. And this is what I was able to see live when we was watching the game on the live stream. Just follow the blockers, man. You got Manning pulling. You got your your H back pulling. Like, wh what are you doing? Hold on, I hit the wrong button. You got the kick out here. You got Manning pulling up in there. You, bro, what, ain't no use. Bro. 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 It's daylight over there for a reason. Because all the blockers left from over there. So just look on his right side if he follow Manning. If he follow Manning, Manning blocks Trotter. Nobody else is there other than this guy right here. And it's one-on-one -on -one with a head of steam. Son, come on now. Come on now. Come on, cuz. What is you doing, baby? What is you doing? Then I think this is the very next play. Now I will say Riley Sharp got manhandled on this one. Check out 84. When you get if you paint if you got a chance. That's the tight end. Running more duo, money, running more duo. Now he try he now this is a better attempt at trying to get in right here. Cause duo, you just got to find a gap. This cat right here got murked. So obviously you, you know you see that I'm going that way, <laughs> which is he made the right decision on this one. It just the play before was so was so blatant that you know we was tripping. And so so that gap is a no go. This guy's winning in this gap right here. So he picked the right gap. He just didn't finish the run for whatever reason. Because the, the old line lost. They cross face. 61 61 got cross faced. 59 made a hell of a play. Getting rid of the tight end like that. Hell of a play. But the question I pose to you guys. Did Rasheen Ali, seeing, seeing the evidence, because not all of his bad plays was his plays, but seeing the evidence, did he help himself? Did he hurt himself this year? I mean, not this year, this game. Is he the reason why he had bad reps? Or, you know, is he going to be the number three back until Keaton gets it, get back? Or is he going to be on the practice squad? They're going to bring somebody else in, or is he going to let Owen Wright take his spot? That's the question I pose to you guys. Answer that down in the comment section and let me know how you feel. This is Coach Evans with another episode of Sip the Tally Films, and we're talking, you know, bottom of the roster right now. Rasheen Ali is one of the guys we drafted. Is he going to make it? Is he not? Answer in the comment sections. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace and love.